What's up you guys? Cece back with another video. Can you guys believe we're here? It is the 2023 <laughs> goals video. I cannot believe we are already doing this video. I feel like I just did the 2022 goals video, but nonetheless, here we are. If it's your first time watching, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join the family. We talk about productivity and our corporate careers over here, and I just love to have you join. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. So today we're gonna talk about our 2023 goals goals and intentions and just how we're going to make it the best year ever. So 2022, we're also going to look at those goals and see how we did and what we're going to pivot and really focus on in the upcoming year. I'm so excited to be doing this video. I'm always super excited to be doing this video. There is something about the beginning of the new year that just really transforms your mindset and gets you motivated and ready to go. However, you want to make sure that you are focusing on the right habits because if you're not, that motivation is not going to stay and you're just going to find yourself back where you started in a month or so. So you have to be very intentional this time of year and I make sure to be extremely intentional with what I am putting my energy toward. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's motivating for you and it's a little long, but there's a lot to talk about and a lot to unpack when we're looking at 2022 and also moving forward into 2023. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what type of content you want to see upcoming in the new year. And let's go ahead and talk about our goals for the upcoming year. started y'all we're gonna go over all of my 2023 goals I feel like I have a hefty 2023 goals list but a lot of times these are just directions right these are really just a roadmap for how I want my year to look I pivot a lot of the times I will pivot my goals I will pivot my outlook throughout the year and just see what works best for me and somehow I always end up with I won't say an ideal year, but I always end up with a good year, a better year than it was not a good year, right? So I always end up that way. And I think it's just because I start the year off really, really like with some crazy hefty goals. And then as the year goes by, I make sure to pivot on what's important to me. So be mindful of that as we're going through these. We'll probably hit most of these. I feel like if you hit all your goals, they weren't hard enough, right? If you can hit every single goal every single year, dream bigger. And that's been definitely my thought process as I'm going through this. Now, these are not completely formed, okay? So these are mostly done, but they're not all the way complete. I wanted you to see them now because I wanted to get this video out so you guys can really think about your goals. Don't think about your goals as having to be 100% completely firmed up in on January 1st, right? Think about your goals as these are just all of these ideas that are in my head. These are the things that I want to do. And as the year goes by, maybe you don't know exactly how this goal is going to take shape. But as the year goes by, it's going to become clearer to you, right? Your vision is going to become clear because of all the other things that you're doing. And then you're going to be able to firm up, you know, that goal. And is that goal exactly what you want to do? But at least you have something to work towards. And that's what these goals are really for, right? So Without talking too much, let's jump into, we're going to jump into like a 2022, just a mini 2022 goal look back. If you guys recall, I just did a 2022 look back where I did like a really deep dive into like a reflection of last year or this year as you're watching this video, um, 2022. So if you guys want to see that video, go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure it is linked for you guys in this video. But I have all of my 2022 goals here and we're just going to quickly go through our 2022 goals, see if we hit them and continue on. So 
I broke my goals up into categories um, for 2022 and I'm going to do the same for 2023. So I started with fitness category, a personal category, social media, business, marriage and family, home and finances. And my goals, some of them are like project goals. So goals like like let's see losing a certain amount of pounds that's a project goal it's not something i can wake up tomorrow and just do it's something that i have to have a bunch of little mini goals underneath in order to achieve right so i'll call that like a project goal and then my habit goals are like wake up early every day that's a habit goal. That's something that I can choose to wake up and do every single day. Get in 64 ounces of water. That's something that I can choose to wake up and do every single day. So I do have habit goals and I also have project goals. So keep that in mind. So since we're talking about fitness, let's start with our fitness goals for 2022. This is probably what I put the most focus on in 2022. And I don't know that it was intentional. I think it was just that's how my life kind of shook out. So here are my goals. Stay active three times a week. I did that and beyond. I think my average was like five times a week. I My new fitness channel is up, you guys. So make sure you head on over there and subscribe. I'll link it in this video. It's also linked down below. My new fitness channel is going live. The videos are going to start very soon and I'm so excited. So head on over there, subscribe, you guys. Get ready for some great fitness content. It's gonna be mostly shorts, but there will also be some long form videos over there as well. But I thought of the shorts, the shorts, um, because I felt like just little quick hit tips would be super helpful and you don't have to sit there for all of these long form videos. So head on over there, show some love, you guys. I totally appreciate it. But, um, I will have like all of my 2022 fitness stats over there on that channel. So make sure you go over there. But I definitely hit the three times a week activity goal. Um, decrease my mile time to eight minutes and 30 seconds. I usually get my milestones from Orange Theory, but I have not been to a milestone mile class in quite a while. So I don't know what my mile time is. I think one is coming up and I'm going to see if I can hit that eight minutes and 30 seconds. But for now, I did not hit that goal. Work on more running endurance. I've definitely done that this year. Love and appreciate my body. That's something that I have absolutely um, grown leaps and bounds by. I just love on myself so much now because I just know that, you know, last year I didn't feel like this. I didn't feel this good at the beginning of 2022. So I'm just really excited about my body and what's to come and just what it does for me on a daily so I did have weight loss, like specific weight loss goals. And this is one of the goals that I did pivot throughout the year. So my ultimate goal was to be 140 pounds, 140 pounds draw by the end of the year. Um, so I wanted to be, um, I had like a 10 pound weight loss goal in like three month increments, which was doable, but probably in the middle of the year, I decided that losing weight was not as important as getting stronger and lifting weights. And so, so I started lifting more weights. I started lifting a lot heavier. As you guys probably see on my Instagram, um, I started just lifting a lot heavier. And so muscle weighs more than fat. And so I didn't hit these weight loss goals. Um, but my body composition has changed and it just it looks really good and I feel really good. So the weight loss goals, no, I did not hit. So those are my fitness goals. So for my personal goals, read and listen to 22 books. I killed that. I actually did 28 books. Like what? What? Um, continue my fitness, on my fitness journey. So we already talked about that. I did that. Um, 365 days of hard dedication to my body. I did that. Um, love and appreciate my body. I also put that on the personal goals. Increase my water intake. I definitely did that this year. My goal was, um, it started off as like a gallon of water a day. And then I realized I don't need to drink a gallon of water a day. So I took that down to a half a gallon, which is 64 ounces. And that's been working out so well for me. Um, and then practice daily gratitude. I try to practice that through journaling, but also just sitting down for like two minutes a day, being still and praying. And um, that's really helpful as well. So I would say I did that as well. And then, and then I just wrote down my book list right here of all the books that I read throughout the year. For marriage and family, 
Um, ooh, did not do this at all. We were supposed to do a new experience every other month. That's something Mark and I started in like 2019. And so like every two months, somebody has to take it. And between those two months, you have to do one new experience between the two of us. And so, um, yeah, we didn't do, we did some new experiences, but we didn't talk about them or journal them. We just kind of let that fall by the wayside. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a bit. And then we do our marriage 101s one time. Um, we're supposed to do them one time a month, which is basically us sitting down, taking a relationship, doing a relationship check in and just talking to each other and, um, you know, understanding if there is something that's bothering us, something that we could be doing better. We do that. We were doing that once a month. We did not keep that up throughout 2022. Home projects, um, paint the house, check, we did that. Stain the patio and stairs, we did not do that. Change out all of our light bulbs, the daylight bulbs, did not do that. Um, get a quote updating our faucets. Um, we didn't do that because we realized that we could probably do that ourselves. So we already changed out our shower head upstairs and we're going to work on the rest of the faucets throughout 2023 and declutter. I think I did a really good job of decluttering a lot of spaces in the house. There are still more to go, but we did do a lot of decluttering this year. So very excited about that. Finances pay off all consumer debt didn't happen. We'll talk about that. Um, sit down with a financial advisor. We did do that this year. Um, so our, <clears throat> excuse me, side hustle business, bring in 1k income monthly. We ended up hitting that this year as well. So that went really, really, really well for socials, social media. Um, I didn't do anything on my social media and I didn't really have any specific, like, have this many subscribers at the end of the year goals. I didn't really ha have any specific goals like that because I just felt like, I don't know, it started to get deflating for me. Like, I feel like my channel has been really stagnant for a while and I'm, I want to try some new things this year to figure out how to get it back moving, but it's just been super stagnant and I don't really know... I don't know, those goals started to get deflating. So instead of doing, you know, social media goals, I want to do more of just tactics that I want to make sure more like habit, social media habits that I want to keep up to see if that helps kind of jumpstart anything, right. And then for business, um, I was supposed to launch three products this year, did not do that, did not. And then um, get daily sales on my Etsy shop. And I didn't do that either. So <laughs> overall, I mean, overall, it was a great year. I think there were a lot of goals that I hit that weren't on this page. One of them was to pull off our wedding and save enough money for our wedding so we wouldn't have to put it on credit cards and stuff like that. And we were able to do that. Um, so that was helpful. And that's part of the reason why all the consumer debt wasn't paid off. So there are a lot of great things about this year. I feel like the goals that I set, I didn't pivot like I should have throughout the year. At least I didn't write them down. I feel like I did pivot them in my head um, when I started to look quarterly at what was going on and how the trajectory of that goal was moving. But um, I just feel like I didn't write them on paper. But overall, I think 2022 was a great year. Check out that 2022 look back um, and you'll get to see some of the personal things that happened this year. But for now, let's move into 2023. So again, all of these goals are not fully formed. I do have them on paper right here. So I've already started this whole process. I just haven't fully formed them or put them on the board yet. So you guys will get to see them here. Okay, so the first thing that I thought I would do differently this year is write down my words and phrases for the year. And I can have more than one. Like before I would pick like one and one is fine too. So I like to have anything that inspires me and um, just makes me feel good on a page. So when I see this every day, I'm gonna be like, damn girl, you got this you can get through this day, right? One day at a time. And so the one thing that I have on this page right now, it's not fully formed, like I said, but it's growth through discomfort. Growth through discomfort. So I wanna get really uncomfortable this year and do some things that I wouldn't normally do, that I wouldn't normally think about, and I don't know what that is yet, but I want to make myself uncomfortable, right? So 
that's one thing. And then the second word that I have on here is intentional. I want to be intentional about everything that I do and just understand why I'm doing certain things. Sometimes I feel like I'm just going through the motions and, you know, doing things. And that could be with my family. That could be with YouTube and social media. That could be with whatever. Sometimes I just feel like I'm going through the motions. But why are you doing this? What is this going to accomplish to get us to the next step in our in our goal get us to the next step of accomplishing that project goal what is this actual action that you're doing right now accomplishing those are some questions that i want to ask myself in everything that i do and just make sure that i'm being intentional about it okay so same deal i broke up I broke up my life into several different categories. I'm actually missing a category on here because this year I also want to add um, a work category because I do have some work goals that I want to accomplish this year. So I'm going to add a work category too and that's not on here. So you guys will just have to stay tuned for that in future vlogs. So for business, let's start there. I have two paid products that have been in my head for probably the last year that I just have not put on paper and set down and done. So that is something that I plan on doing. This year, um, I'm going to launch two paid products for my Etsy shop. They are going to be in my interviewing resume help space, right? So stay tuned for that. I'm trying, trying, trying to get the first one done by Q1, by the end of Q1 and have that launched. So stay tuned for that. But those are definitely happening this year. I want to track all of my money coming in from each platform. I have not been the greatest at doing that. So I want to make sure I get better at tracking like every single dollar and cent that comes in from in from each platform and every single dollar and cent that goes out for each platform, like when I upgrade my equipment and stuff like that. So there's that. And then um, have a weekly business meeting with my husband because um, he is also a part of this team. So having a weekly business meeting with him and making sure that we're staying on track of things and keeping up with whatever it is that we want to do, whether it is from the Etsy shop or whether it's from the social media aspect or whatever. Um, social media goals. So I do have a live streaming goal this year. I feel like I said this last year and y'all said you're a liar and I was a liar because I didn't do it. But this year, look at me, come closer. This year, we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. I, I have a live streaming goal. I'm afraid to say this because y'all going to try to hold me to it. Now, my ultimate, okay, listen, listen, listen here. My ultimate goal is one time per month, right? That is, that's what I want to do. But I'm sorry, I lied. My ultimate goal, <laughs> what I would like to do is two times per month, but I am probably going to settle into more like one time per month or um, two times every maybe month and a half, like maybe every six weeks, something like that, you know what I mean? So that is, that's my goal for this channel is to do a live stream with you all two times a month but two times maybe every six weeks, okay? Hold me to it. I'm Like, if I'm not going live, y'all tell me, okay? Seriously, yell at me and get in my DMs and we're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna do it, I promise. I'm gonna try to get on some sort of schedule, so give me some time with that, but our first live stream will be going in January. I, I swear to you, it's gonna happen. Um, and then also Bradley Party of Six, our vlog channel, we were going live on there pretty much until like October. Um, we kind of fell off in October, like after the wedding, but going live every other Thursday we were doing and we were doing so well all year. So we're going to continue that in 2023. Don't know if it's going to be on Thursdays. We might make some changes there, but every other week is definitely our goal for Bradley Party of Six. Um, I want to spend 30 minutes per week. Um, answering comments and that's on all platforms and channels, um, researching trends and stuff like that because I do want to grow my platforms. That is probably one of my biggest goals for the year is to grow my platforms. I don't want to put out a number because I can't control a number, right? I can't control you guys clicking the subscribe button. What I can control though are the tactics and the consistency and the engagement that I can give you guys. So that is what I want to focus on this year and hopefully that helps to grow my platforms um focus on intentional platform growth that's on there that's super important and then i want to put all of my social media numbers when january 1st comes i'll put all my social media numbers there and then compare them to compare them to uh the end of the year 
So in order to hit my social media goals, I also felt like I needed to have, like I wanted to do some things digitally as well, meaning keep all of my content ideas. I have a notebook that I keep things in, but sometimes they're in different notebooks and it just gets hard to keep everything straight. So I told you guys I wanted to learn Notion. Well, Notion is very hard, okay? Notion takes some time and I'm still learning, but in the meantime, I did buy a Notion template from Etsy. I'll have a link down below and let's go through my Notion right now this is just strictly for content creation this is what I'm going to use to hopefully hit my goals and make my platforms grow so let me give y'all a notion tour right here so here's the Notion template that I plan on using for content creation. Like I said, I will link it down below for you guys. And um, just let you know, I purchased this template, but I have not fully filled it out. It is not fully formed, but I just wanted to show this to you guys again. If you want to get started on your 2023 plans, I didn't want to hold you up because I'm slow, right? So I'm trying to figure this whole thing out, how to add pages and things like that. But this is basically the homepage of the... I might change the name, but Content Creation Hub is what it is. I'll probably add like a picture or whatever up here in the banner. But right now, this is just really, really basic, you guys. So I'm looking down at my computer screen, but this is... Um, Basically, I have a section for my Camellia Yvette YouTube, my Camellia Yvette Instagram, my Bradley Party of Six. It used to be called Bradley TV, so I still, I like the acronyms better. So BTV um, YouTube, BTV Instagram, my fitness YouTube channel, and then my TikTok. So I have a, those are all of my social medias. I have a space for all of those. They're always linked down below if you guys want to follow me and support your girl. But, um... It starts off with a master calendar, which I don't know what I did wrong because I filled out the YouTube calendar for January and it's not on the master calendar. So I got to figure out what the hell I did wrong, <laughs> wrong here. However, this is just the homepage. How do I get back? Okay, this is the homepage of that. So um, I, there should be, hopefully I can get it to work and I can put it on the right space, but a master calendar view, which basically has, um, it'll have all of my, like when my YouTube videos need to go live um, for any channel and I'll try to color code them. Same with Instagram, same with TikTok. And I'll put everything up here and kind of fill it out as I go through the weeks and months and things like that. So that's the homepage. It, it would just have a master calendar. And then I have a posting schedule. I will not, I'll probably have a set posting schedule. Not probably, I will for YouTube, um, Instagram. I think I, I don't like to have a posting schedule for Instagram or TikTok, but I do want to have like a certain frequency number per week. So five Instagram reels per week and one static post or something like that. Two TikToks per week, three TikToks per week, something like that. And my TikTok is all fitness, so that'll really go with the YouTube fitness channel. So there is that. And so I haven't, I don't think I've filled any of this out. So I did kind of, so my goal for YouTube, two videos every Monday and Thursday at 6 p.m. And then, um, shorts i have monday to friday at 10 a.m you guys i'm just playing around with some stuff i don't really know what my schedule is gonna be however it'll be coming soon okay and so i just kind of threw some things in here so TikTok, two videos every day 9 a.m and 7 p.m that's not happening that's not happening. I'm not going to do TikTok every day. I just don't have the capacity to do that. Instagram, this isn't happening either. So I'm going to have to figure out what my frequency is for all of those platforms, but I can have it over here at all times in this column. And then um, there's also a weekly content planner here. I don't know if I'll use the weekly content planner here. I might, I might not. I might just use it as a monthly view, but I might use it as a weekly view. Who knows? So this is the weekly content planner. So if I click on YouTube, it goes back to this page, which just shows um, my overall YouTube content calendar. I can put any YouTube goals here. So hit 35k subscribers is one of my goals. Like 
within the next hopefully couple of months um post three videos a week and then more sp sponsorships which equals more money opportunities um and then all my different content pillars and my posting schedule so this is an accurate posting schedule is what i'm thinking sundays tuesdays and thursdays but i'm still working that out in my head there's a space for youtube video ideas here so um different youtube videos can go in here this was in here when i got this so i didn't put these in here but different video ideas can go in here and then you can color code them like what stage they're in so if they're still in the idea stage if you film them if you've edited them things like that and then there is a hashtag guide which i have not filled out and i probably won't fill it out but I don't know, maybe I will. Eventually, I'll spend about an hour on this and try to see if I'll, you know, fill it out more. And then a collaborations tracker. So if you have any sponsorships going on, if you have multiple at one time, how do you keep those straight? You can put them in here. And then that's, of course, broken down for each, for each, um, different platforms so the different YouTubes that I have and the different Instagrams that I have that's all broken down for different platforms so that's nice to be able to go in there and look at that individually but then also have this master calendar and I haven't filled out anything for Instagram or YouTube or anything like that so you know what I haven't looked at though let's see can I, so if I click on the YouTube video ideas, is there a page for that? If I open a page, there is, so that's nice. Okay, so I didn't even realize this. So if I go into, so if I put a video in here that I want to film, I can say what stage it is, if I've, like what B-roll footage I'd like to film, what music, the posting date I'm going for, sponsor, the type, so if it's a video, maybe if it's a short or a reel, I can put that in there. And then any comments along with title ideas, thumbnail ideas, the script, voiceover, B-roll list, editing list, checklist, hashtags, description box. That is awesome. So that is so super helpful for like long form videos. Maybe if I'm filming a video over a week's time or something like that and I have to get multiple shots, that is super helpful and I love that. So that is awesome awesome I didn't even realize that was there something just made me look at it so this is such a great content creation like whole little notion hub and I can keep everything digitally I can get notion on my phone I can get it on my iPad and I don't always have to have my laptop with me or a notebook or something like that so this is really nice just for keeping all of my content stuff organized because um, I have a lot of pages and Instagrams at this point that I'm trying to keep up with it and trying to grow so there's that next set of goals are my wellness goals and I have changed the name fitness to wellness goals because I feel like just you know overall I want to be well in my head I want my body to be well I want to be well spiritually and I feel like you know more than fitness there like it's just so much more than going to work out or eating right or drinking my water when it comes to overall wellness of the body and the spirit and the mind and that's what I wanted to be a part of this entire wellness journey so monthly weigh-in and photos I want to only step on the scale every month once a month and I'll have a set day and I'll take photos that day to see my progress but the scale is so damaging sometimes to my mind and I don't want to go through that <laughs> I don't want to go through that no more so I'm tired of it I'm tired of just being down when I step on the scale so I'm done with the scale I think once a month is good just to check in with myself but other than that I'm gonna put the scale away except for on those days one time a month, or I'm sorry, one time a week, long, like 20 minute stretch. I work out so much five to six days a week and my body really needs to stretch and really needs to recover from the hard workouts that I do. So I want to make sure that at least one time a week, and it probably should be more, but let's start off small, at least one time a week, a 20 minute stretch where I am just really in the moment, a yoga session, something where I'm in the moment and I'm really stretching out. Out my body and making sure that I'm like helping to repair my muscles right 
Um, increasing my flexibility and mobility. That's something that I really want to focus on this year. Along with strength, I want to, um, the more flexible you are, the more, you know, mobile you get your hips and everything, that will make you less injury prone. And um, your girl's getting older, right? Your girl's getting older. I lift heavy, I run fast, and I want to make sure that my body can keep up with me. So, um, increasing flexibility and mobility is important and I'll be incorporating those in those stretch sessions. Um, work out five times a week and I'll be tracking it on my calendar as I have done for the past two years. Um, that works out so well for me seeing all the boxes checked in. So I'll be continuing that. A step goal. I want to increase my steps, seven to 10K steps a day. I feel like 10K steps every day is a lot, okay? That's hard work. But seven to 10K steps, I think is very good. It's very reasonable. And I wanna make sure that I'm hitting that. Uh, the more steps you take, I feel like steps are very underrated, like just walking, right? It's so underrated. The more steps you take, it's definitely been proven um, that you can maintain or lose weight just you know, making, taking more steps throughout the day, walking more throughout the day. No alcohol Monday through Thursday. So on work weeks, like seriously, it got to the point where Mark and I were like having a drink every night. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got the Hennessy bottle, having a drink every night just to unwind and like hang out together at night or me and my wine, right? There's no need to have a drink every single day. So on work days, and it also will help me get up earlier and be brighter and just more alert in the morning so no alcohol monday through thursday um i think that's reasonable i think i can do that get more sleep that's another thing i sleep maybe five hours a night like it's not good it's it's not a lot of sleep so we stay up pretty late and then um we get up because we have kids and we have to work, we have to get up in the morning. And so just more sleep overall and making sure I'm like adhering to some sort of bedtime. Uh, I don't think 10 o'clock is reasonable. I don't even think 11 o'clock is reasonable, but I think midnight, I can, I can handle midnight. I'm a night owl, so it's really hard to get to sleep sometimes. And it, it's just something I'm working on. Continue my body positivity journey. I think that's going to be a lifelong journey, but I just wanted to write it down so I could see it when I look at these goals and remember when I'm having those down days, when I'm looking at my body and going, oh, I can't believe I gained two pounds, you know, when I'm looking at my body and seeing that, when I see this message, body positivity, I want to make sure that, you know, it, it, it makes me think and say, stop it. Say something nice about your body. And I try to do that every day too, so. There's that. All right, let's continue on with our finances. Um, for finances, I would like to create a recurring investing schedule. So this year I started investing, big girl um, things. We started investing this year. I've been really excited about it. And so I just want to make sure that I'm on a recurring investing schedule. Right now, I don't have a set amount of money going towards um, the investments. I'm just putting money in there, you know, as I feel like it, but I need to get on a set investment schedule. Um, so that is the, the goal for this year. Um, revamp our money and paycheck routine. We got so out of whack on our budget. I told you guys in my 2022 look, look back, like we've been spending money. Like our last name is El Chapo. Like seriously, like we've been spending money like crazy. I mean, with the wedding and just, it was such a spendy year for me. So I really wanna, wanna dial it back and we have to get back on our budget meetings. Mark and I had budget meetings every other week. Um, in 2021 and then 2022 we somehow thought that we don't have to do that anymore that we got this and we don't got this we, we don't got this at all so <laughs> we're back on our budget meetings and we're on opposite pay week so we get paid every single friday he get paid i get paid he get paid i get paid it's wonderful right but with that mindset i feel like you can spend money faster because you're like oh i'll just get paid again on friday i'll just spend this no, 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 no. So we've been having budget meetings every single week for the past five weeks. It's been working out so well. I feel like we've already started to see changes just because both of us are aware of exactly where the money is going, what's happening every week, what's coming up for the week that we're going to be spending money on. And it just works out so well. So we're going to continue that. It takes about 15 minutes. We have a little budget meeting Look, with a little drink. See, we got to cut that out. See, we have a little budget meeting, have a little drink, you know, <laughs> for like 30 minutes. 
every week and it's been working out well. So we just got to find something to substitute the drink for. Um, increase our 401k contribution. I want to increase my um, 401k contribution by 1% this year. I am investing 7% in my 401k every paycheck now. So I want to increase that to 8% this year. And Mark wants to increase his as well. Um, have our weekly money meeting. We've already started that. Save 12K in a high yield savings account. So the first step in that was to open a high yield savings account because we did not have one. I just opened one last week. Yay for me. So we did that before 2023. We have already invested um, or put money into the high yield savings account. We just took money out of our regular savings account and moved it over to the high yield savings account. So look into that. The interest rate on that is so much better and your money is growing so much faster than it does in a traditional savings account. So so I finally took the plunge, I did it, and we have money automatically transferring to that savings account now. Organize our financial records. Our financial records are a mess, a hot mess. And I was supposed to do this last year, I never got around to it. And so this year, we're gonna organize those financial records so we can find things, we can keep things in order um, for tax purposes, for, I mean, you hate to think about this, but if something happens to one of us, you know, we wanna have that information right there, front and center for for the other person to be able to access. And so we, we don't just don't have that right now. So we gotta figure that out. All right, let's move into relationship and family. And this is one of those that, that really isn't fully formed because I thought of some things that I want to add on here. But what's on here right now, relationship 101, um, we want to be consistent with our relationship 101 meetings and bi-weekly is what we came up with. We've already started this. We started December 4th and I love having these check-in meetings with my husband. They just, they make so much sense and it helps us out so much, kind of sort through some feelings that we may have been holding back. Um, we can be completely honest with each other and it's, it's so amazing. Our new experience, bi-monthly. I told you guys we were going to get back to this. We're going to do this. Mark has the first two months, so between January and February, he has to find a new experience for us, which will probably be pretty easy for him. Think of how we're going to Vegas the first week of January. Probably pretty easy for him to find a new experience for us, but the new experience can be anything. It can be an activity. It can be a restaurant. It can be anything we want it to be. It just has to be something that we have not done together. So that's it. Um, and that gets really hard after this is our 15th year we're coming up on. So that gets really hard to find a new experience for us. And so, you know, it's really fun to be creative. But January and February is cool because Mark, my birthday's in February. So um, he gets like to take my birthday month. And then I have July and August and that his birthday is in July. So um, I'll probably send her something around his birthday. Plus it's his 40th birthday. You guys believe it? His 40th birthday is coming up in July. So I, I feel like I got to be big, right? It's a lot of pressure on me. So if y'all got some ideas, let me know. So we are going to get that new experience popping off this year. Plus, I want to add into that some family goals. I want to spend some more intentional time with my girls separately, like as individuals. Obviously, I want to spend time with all the kids, but the girls... They're at this age where they're starting to be aware of what they look like, of the clothes that they're wear, they wear, how their hair is styled. And so that's such an impressionable age for young girls. I know because I was there before. So I want to start spending some some alone time with the two of them, but also some individual time with them. They're so close in age, they're 13 months apart, and I feel like we treat them like twins almost. Even though they're in two separate grades, um, you know, Morgan will be nine this year. Can you guys believe it? She'll be nine in January. Mariah will be eight in February. And so we, we almost treat them like twins a lot of the times. And I try to be mindful of that and separate the two. And so doing things that they like to do as individuals doing things with them, whether it's in the house, whether I'm taking them somewhere. I think that's very important to honor their individuality and, you know, just make sure that they understand that I'm here, that they can talk to me. And, you know, things will start happening very soon, like periods and, uh, and stuff like that. And so I just want to make sure that they feel comfortable coming to me and we can actually talk and relate to each other, right? So, that's how that's that's something that I'm going to add to this list. That's so important to me. Obviously, my baby, he'll be three this year coming up. I can't believe it. And I want to spend as much time with him. Also, that's my last baby. And you never get these years back. But I feel like the girls are probably going to be my priority this year coming up. 
Um, and then home projects and I have a home projects list and then I have a to buy list and the to buy list. I'm sure there's going to be things that will be added. But for home projects, we want to finish painting the laundry room because we started that last year, this time in December and never got around to finishing it. Um, a playground for the kids in the backyard. I want to paint the kids rooms, um, stain the stairs in the patio, which we were supposed to do last year. The basement closet is a wreck and we need to kind of completely redesign it. So we want to do that. Declutter and clean out the back hallway closet and um, also clean under our bed because we have a lot of random shit under our bed. So clean that out too. And then to buy just a bench in our bedroom, the little bench in front of the bed is broken. So we need to buy a new one. So lastly, let's go into our personal goals. Read 35 books this year. Reading includes audiobooks for me. I don't just listen to audiobooks all day, so it's not like that's an easy feat. So reading and audiobooks, 35 books. I feel like I could probably push it to 40. I have 40, you know, listed here um, on the down below on the 2023 book list. So I'm going to try to hit that 40, but 35 is the ultimate number that I'm going for. Have a minimalist by list. I said list, but I think I meant year. Have a minimalist by year. So I don't want to be wasteful. I don't want to be just buying things just to buy it. I really want to be intentional with my purchases this year. Um, you guys know makeup and beauty and skincare and hair and stuff like that has always been kind of my vice. And that's kind of where... I always have the trouble, but we're really going to try to be like more of a minimalist buying person this year. Clothing as well. Like I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of shoes and I just kind of want to coast with what I have. I'm going to buy new things. I I'm not a minimalist in any sense of the word. So I'm going to buy new things, but just kind of being mindful of the things that I'm buying are really important to me this year. Doing a monthly challenge. So every month I want to challenge myself to do something um, that's hard for me, uh, whether it's learn something um, or anything like that. Every single month I do want to challenge myself and I will have a YouTube short coming up every single month on this channel for what our monthly challenge is going to be. You guys will see this month's um, YouTube short coming up, but this month's monthly challenge is going to be a no spend in January. A no spend in January. Now, my daughter's birthday is in January, so I'm probably going to spend some money on her. But other than that, we're going to do a no spend. So nothing unnecessary. I'm not going to purchase. I don't care what comes out. There's a NARS powder that's coming out January 13th that I really want to get. But I don't care what comes out, whether it's makeup, clothes, shoes, anything i'm not spending money on anything for me in january i'm gonna try not to go get any coffee i'm gonna try not to go out to eat um that one might be a little hard but i'm gonna try my best and i'm gonna track all the money that i spend personally on me like on amazon any of that i'm gonna track all the money that i spend personally and see where we end up for the month and if i can really can really do this i actually might create a January like habit tracker and just put it on a calendar that's probably easier so yeah no spend month for January comment down below and let me know if you guys are gonna join me and then what else review my goals monthly and create a monthly plan so every month I want to look at my goals and I actually might shift this this might shift to quarterly um, but I, I kind of want to break them down quarterly and then break them down monthly so this can still work. Review my goals monthly and then create a monthly plan for how I'm going to achieve those goals. And those monthly goals will most likely be bite-sized goals for my quarterly goals, which are, of course, bite-sized goals from my yearly goals. And then I would like to do a social media fast one time a month. So just one day where I'm not scrolling Instagram, TikTok, none of that. Just one day where I'm just like, ah. And I'm just, you know, present in the moment with my children, with my husband and just hanging out. My phone is somewhere else. And I'm just kind of on like that, that detox for that day. Because social media can definitely be damaging. It makes you play the comparison game a lot. And I want to get away from that this year. So you guys, that is it. That is my whole 
2023 plan. You guys tell me what you think. You know, I, I'm pretty sure at least most of these goals are achievable if I just work. It's gonna take hard work and that's what it takes and I'm fine with that. So these goals are definitely achievable. If I set my mind to it, if I sit down and do the work, I can get it done. Like I said, all of these goals are not fully formed. My notion is not fully formed. So as the year goes on, you guys will see some of these goals progress. We'll do some check-ins. I will try to keep up with my monthly resets and we will look at all of that and see just kind of where we are um, with all of these goals. So keep me honest, you guys. Keep, especially about those live streams. Keep me honest. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. We are all going to have such an amazing 2023 together. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.